Zachary, I thought I told you that I didn't want to see you back in here for the rest of this month. I don't want to be here if you want to go in and let me leave early. So explain to me, why are you in here? So let me get this straight. You're just going to act as if you don't know what you did. What did I do? Oh, well from this paper, it says in class you decided that it was a good idea to staple a person's hair. And that sounds believable to you? Well, yeah, it does sound like one of those little pranks that you would pull. No, it does not. Last week, you're really gonna sit here and lie when it's right here? So just because we have a paper, does that make it true? If I write 4 plus 4 equals 99, does that make it true? No! Anybody in the world would know that that's not right. Okay, so that's not right either. She said I staple somebody here that doesn't even make sense. Actually, it does make sense when your name is the one to come up that does it. You know what? Here it is. And you can go in and show it to your mother as well. Can I go now? Yes. You are dismissed. And pull your pants up. I don't know why he acts like he has no home train. He leave the house. Bye, Mom. Act like he's going to go to school and do some work. And he just, I, you know what? I do when he get home. Have a nice day. Boy, come back here right now. I don't know what you think you're going. You better not go to that dad's home. Stand up straight. Open your eyes when I'm talking to you. What is your problem? Nothing. So why can't I just go to work? Come home. And relax. Every no. single day I get off of work is something with you. Me? You. What did I do? You tell me what you do. Nothing. Why, why did your principal call me? Because she's annoying. So your principal called me because she's annoying. Yes. Let's make sense of that. It doesn't make sense. I can't make any sense of it. What did I, I don't know what to tell you why she calls you? You gonna tell me what you did today? Nothing. So why you give her up? Because she's annoying. She's a lawyer. What happened in class? Nothing happened at all. No, not with me. So you stand in your desk all day. I can't stand in my desk all day. I have to go to first period, second period, third period, lunch. Like I have to go to class. I do not need your smart remarks. Right? Not being smart, you ask me. No way, Joe. Can you pay bills in this house? No. So you better lower your voice when you talk to me. Turn up. Let me see the write-up. Why didn't you show me in the first place? Huh? Because I forgot. You forgot. Yes. You forgot. Yes. How did you forget when you put it in your bag? I didn't mean, put it in there. Who she are you it. talking to? I'm not gonna tell you again. Show me this heart up. And move a little faster. You move it too slow. I said move faster. Yeah, I'm right. In class today, Zachary decided it was a good idea to go to a student's desk and staple her hair. You staple somebody? Here? No. This says different. Does it mean it's true? Zachary. Didn't do it. So who did it? The girl. And she nobody stepped for anything. The girl stepped for her own hair. I ain't she never didn't step. That's what you said? I didn't say that. I said she did it, but she didn't stay for anything. She just threw something at me in my back and it pushed me. That's it. Well, why did she get written up? Because I never get in trouble. Because they never do anything. That's right? not true. So if she didn't get written up, she didn't do nothing. You did. 
you gotta go to get attention to me. You ain't do nothing. You wanna have a choice? No, we can go to the school tomorrow. But just for what? So they can fix this. This goes on your record. This is permanent. You never had this on your record. So you what are you gonna do about it? We're gonna talk to the principal and the teacher. And matter of fact, you think we should get the girl in with me? Do you, what do you think? Do you just want it with the teacher and the principal? We'll be up here tomorrow. So what, you believe me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So can I still go with my practice? No. So you, I, I thought you believed me. Who are you talking back to? You you me. Who are you talking back to? Who are you talking back to? What? What? I thought I was in trouble. Until I talk to your dad, you're in trouble. Go. Now. Don't go back there playing the game with your brothers either. you mrs fonsway um why are you sound so upset because i'm upset i am missing work to come and handle this nonsense i completely understand ma'am what are you understanding exactly do you have a child that's being accused of doing something that they didn't do uh, no, oh that's what i thought so don't tell me you understand okay ma'am so how do we go about fixing this you can either not give my son detention or show me something that proves my son did what you're saying he did do you even know what he did ma'am the kid did something bad yesterday. He always does things that are bad. So why would they have a reason to... I'm not asking that. I'm asking, do you know what he did? Yes, ma'am. I do know what he did. What did he do? He stayed with another student's hair. He was supposed to be doing a warm-up. He asked to go sharpen his pencil. And when he went to sharpen his pencil, the lady told me that he went to another person's desk. What do you mean, told? So you aren't there? Ma'am, I'm a principal. I don't run classes. So whatever the teachers say, you just believe them? Yes, ma'am. Why else would they have a reason to lie, especially on Zach? We all know Zach does bad things. That's the reason right there? Because it's Zach? Y'all don't know the Zach I know. Ma'am, Zach has pulled the school alarm. Zach has threw food in the cafeteria. Zach has dragged somebody on the plate. Okay, Ann. You know what else Zach did? No, ma'am, I do not. He helps take out the trash. He saved the cat that he put in the tree. And he saved the fish from drowning in dirty water that he put them in. What does that have to do with what he's doing? You make it seem like my son is just so bad. Ma'am, I'm not making him seem as he's bad. I'm just telling you the things he's done. These are the things that I've seen him do. Now, as far as what happened yesterday, I was not there. But I've seen the other things that he's done. Well, this is not the other thing. This this is something else. So you can either not give my son detention, or you can come up with something that proves my son did what you say he did that I know he didn't do. What are you looking so stressed for? This is the job that you apply for, right? Yes, ma'am. Well, it seems like you have too much on your plate, and you're trying to push this on my son. Is that what you're trying to do? No, ma'am, it's not. Okay. So is you going to show me anything? Yes, ma'am. Can you? But where is it then? Calm down, please. I'm calm. All right, come on. Follow me to this latest classroom, please. Yes, ma'am. I just have Zachary's mother here with me, wanting proof. Proof of proof of him doing whatever y'all claim he did yesterday. Oh, God, I'm so sad about this. Ah, well, I hope my cameras is working yesterday. Cause if not, then I don't have any other way to show you. Well, may God be with you. I can't 
front of both of y'all. I completely understand. If it was my kid, I would have acted a fool too. But is there anything else y'all need from me? Nope. What about you, Miss Fonsoy? Nope. That is all I needed to see. If y'all would excuse me, I'm, I'm a little late for work. Upstairs and handle your son right now. For what? Because he got in trouble in school. Okay, that was yesterday. Why am I handling something yesterday that's not today? I went up to the school and I made a fool of myself, and I mean a complete fool. Huh. He lied. So what I went, about what? He told me he didn't do it. And you believe that? Yeah. When does he not do something? I just thought this one time he didn't do it. So okay. when I went up there, I went off on the principal and I went off on the teacher. And you know what they had? video evidence of him doing it. So what do you want me to do? Handle him. What do you mean? He lied. What if it was you? You would be mad. Zach! Boy, if I call you one more time, I will put this belt to your... Okay. Just hurry up and get it over with. Get what over with? I didn't come in here to whoop you, boy. You're not? I just said no. I was coming back here to talk to you. Are you getting bullied at school? No. Why did you say that? Because I was driving in my car and I seen some girl outside putting signs up about you. Oh, that's just that stupid dumb girl at school lying on me. So what is she lying on you about? Okay, so basically I did a couple things. Does this have to do with what your mama went up to that school for today? Yes. What did you do? And you better not lie to me. Okay, so basically I was in class and I always mess with this girl. So when I went to go sharpen my pencil after the teacher told me to, I threw a marker at her and then she said, stop bothering me or something like that. So I went to her desk and I asked her to rate me one out of ten and she didn't rate me. So I grabbed her hair and I stapled it. So what did I tell you about putting your hands on people, especially girls? I know, Dad, but I was just frustrated. Okay, well, you got school tomorrow and you know you got to go to detention, right? So you better go in there and behave yourself. Okay. Zachary, don't make me embarrass you at that school. Okay, I won't. All right, now. Oh, hey, miss. What do you need? Can I go to the bathroom? Yes, you can use that bathroom right there. Is that the only That's the only bathroom we have. You can use that one or you can use it on yourself. If not, I do not care. So there's no other bathroom? No, that's the only one we have unless that one goes out of order. Then we use the one down the hallway that the rest of the students have. But you are in detention, so you use the detention bathroom. What did you say? Can I use it? Go! What do I do? What can I do to flip the toilet so that way it won't work? I gotta go to that other bathroom. I can't let her get away with this. Keep lying up. Who's toilet paper? Maybe I can just find the toilet. Hey, where do I not? Just keep going. You already used it? No, ma'am, I didn't use it. Somebody else 
doctors. Aren't you supposed to be in detention? No! No, actually, I'm going to do this. You can't whoop me unless my mom said you can. Oh, well, this will be easier this time since, you know, you lied the last time. Follow me. Hello? Hey, this is the principal at Tiger Middle. What can I do for you today, sir? Uh, how are you today? I'm great. What, what do you want? I was just called and let you know that your son is back in trouble again. For what now? For not being in detention. And why isn't he in detention? That I have no clue of, and I don't know how he got out, but he ended up being in the other classroom, and guess who he was messing with again? The same girl he was messing with last time, am I correct? Yup, you're definitely correct, and it looks like the girl stood up for herself this time. You know what? What did you call me for again? I called you to see if I can paddle him. Yup, you surely can paddle him. Matter of fact, make sure you paddle him up and down that hallway in front of every last student you got in that school. Thank you, that's all I needed to know. She said yes. Getting on my dad on her time dealing with that. Yo, son. How is that my son on the phone? What are you talking it's about? It's the principal calling about your son. What are you doing now, bro? He's supposed to be in detention. He ain't in detention. He went back to the classroom, and now he act like he still got a ball to the girl. didn't even get out of detention. I, I didn't ask that far. So he went to the classroom and did what? He's still bothering the girl. He was bothering yesterday. The same girl I literally just told him about. Bro. Yep. So what is his punishment now? What? A one week detention? One week suspension? What? One week detention? No, he no, it's none of that. The, the principal called and asked me if he could he could powder him. I told him go ahead and powder him. It's out of it. Did what? I gave the principal permission to powder him. Like you should have did yesterday. You whooped him, right? No, I didn't whoop hey. him. You must have lost your mind giving somebody else permission to powder our son. No, he's talking about he my son too. No, you done messed up, right? Go to police! Go to police! Go to police! Hello? Hello, how can I assist you? Is this been an altercation in my boss's office? Where's your boss's office? Um, I'm at Lincoln Middle School. Wait, do we got any enemies? I don't know, he's the principal of the school. All right, just tell me what happened. I don't think you want me to go in there and ask him. Uh, you, you can ask him if you want to end up like him, but me personally? I'd advise you to stay where you at, ma'am. Okay, I'll just stay right here with you. Hurry up and get in the car. Hurry up. Ow! I'm trying, God, but my butt hurts. Bro, what do you mean your butt hurts? Why do you think it hurts? He literally whooped me with the paddle. You really let somebody whoop you with a paddle that's not your dad or your parents at all? Well, he said mom gave him permission so I could Okay, and you stood up for yourself every other time. Why you didn't do it this time? Um... That's besides the point. It's not besides the point. We're talking about it, right? You just brought it up. So I told you to behave and you did it. Now what? You're the last person to talk about behave. I'm talking about that left right hook you did was. <clears throat> and then when you knocked him down, I was like. Hey, listen here, boy. I know I didn't behave, but it ain't about what I did. I did that. Just wait until I tell little Nelson about this. He's going to want to meet you. Oh, you should not. We better not hear nothing about, boy. I swear, if I hear you say anything about this, that includes mom. That includes your friends. It better not come up, okay? Okay, well, you did say grandma so i'll just tell her on said nobody nobody fine just so you know my lips are sealed i'm about to throw away the key bro you won't believe what happened today at school bro are you outside running a marathon no bro i'm just walking back and forth in my room why you just sound so i don't know like out of breath bro, i'm not out of breath bro okay how about you just take a breather and sit down i don't want to sit down my hands and why can't you again bro people see
seen it if I remember properly. So is that all that happened? Or are you just telling me that's what happened so I can leave y'all alone? Because that ain't really what happened. That's what happened. Why do you keep asking me? Because it just don't make sense how the man was just calling me, asking me if he could paddle that. And then all of a sudden, he got a change of heart. Mm -mm, that ain't him. So and it made sense for you to tell him that he could paddle Zach? I'm trying to change the subject. No, I'm going to change the subject because when it, when do we ever let somebody whoop our kids? When did Zach have me go up anywhere and look like a daggone fool? Right? Never. But when did you have the not common sense to go up there? You know he always lying, so why did you not think he was Because I just thought something about this time was just different. Well, now you learned your lesson, so next time you know not to do it's it. It's not about me. It's about you and Zach because when the boy came in the house, he ran across here. Like yeah, you know why he was. ran? Because I told him when he get in this, I'm going to whoop his behind. Who you think you playing? You or me? Nobody. No, you playing yourself because your shirt snap here look like somebody even jacked you up. Okay. Hey, Dad, when are you going to teach me those moves you did on the prison? Oh, sorry. I'll, I'll be back later. Hmm. I can explain. That, save it. Save it. Seems like you have somebody else to explain it to. Good afternoon, ma'am. Hello, officer. What can I help you with today? Oh, I'm pretty sure you know why I'm here. No, I have no clue. Um, could you explain it to me? Yeah, you have a child that goes to Lincoln Middle School, correct? Yes, I do, but I don't know why you're here looking for him. Well, uh, you see, there was an incident that went down that involved your kid and your husband. Oh, well, <laughs> sorry to tell you, officer. I have not seen my husband at all today. Okay, well, do you know what happened at the school? Nope, I have no clue. So you mean to tell me? That you didn't know about your husband beating up the principal and leaving him bleeding. My husband beat up the principal? That's what I said, ma'am. Why are you acting so clueless? Officer, I'm not acting clueless. I really am clueless. So what happened today was your husband came up to the school to defend your disobedient son from the principal who you gave permission to whoop. I gave him permission to paddle him, not whoop him. Ma'am, you do realize that a paddle is way worse than a whooping, correct? Sorry, but I gave him permission to paddle him, not whoop him. So after that happened, your husband left the man laying in his pool of blood and returned to this address. So I'm going to ask you again, are you sure that you have not seen your husband? You can't hear? I told you I don't know sir, where my... Sir, it's okay, baby. Sir, I'm right here. There's no need to take this out of my way. Okay, sir. So listen, you can either come with me two ways. The easy way, you walk out of this house with me. The hard way, I drag you out of here in handcuffs. Which would you like to do? I'm fine with doing this the easy way, sir. Well, come on, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'll be right behind you. Hold on. Gosh, I'm not going to do I'm sorry, sir. I, I didn't. It's my fault, isn't it? No, it's not. It either is my fault or it's not. Not. Take. Okay, it's not all your fault, okay? I can't put all the blame on you, so no, it's not all your fault. So whose fault is the thing? Everybody's action has a consequence to it, okay? That's just what I'm going to say, all right? What, what does that mean? I'm listening. I have to take you down to the station and book you, man. <laughs> My partner's like, they ain't gonna believe this. Face down on the hook. Put your hands behind you, back. All right. All right. Just go ahead and right here. Yep. It's too tight. I don't care if it's too you should have thought about what you did to that principal today and how you was hurting him. You didn't think about that, did you? Well, I ain't got no son, and I'm glad I ain't got no son because I don't want to be put in this type of position that your son can put you in. Stand up. Come on, man. Be easy, though. No, I ain't going easy on you. All right. Stand right here. Stay right here. Get him up. Now, you have the right to remain silent. You will be appointed a lawyer when we get to the station. Do you understand? I don't care. See, then my fault or it's not. And I feel like it's my fault because if I didn't do what I did, dad wouldn't be going to jail. No. If your dad didn't do what he did, he wouldn't be going to jail. Dad only did that because you sent somebody to whoop me. Because you lied to me the day before yesterday. Okay, but you still didn't have to let anybody whoop me. And you still didn't have to lie to me, so what are you saying? You let somebody else whoop me, that's not even my And parents. you lied to your mom. Okay, I okay, get that. But so I could say, okay, so I... So it's your fault then. No, it's your You're fault. You're the reason my dad is going to jail. No, your dad's going to jail because of himself. Yeah, because you... he came to defend me because you weren't big enough to do it yourself. And you got a whooping because you did something you had no business doing. Yeah, and that's what the principal gets. Because he wanted to whoop me and my dad came to So do you want me to say that's what your dad gets? No, so my dad didn't do anything wrong. So and you should be running out the 